Welcome everyone to another episode for our New World Colonies campaign. Let's get ready now for El Cadavo to end his turn. Or we could go attack now. You know what? Why don't we attack right now? I can do it. We know where we have to fight our war. I don't really want to fight alone, but here we go now. We're fighting Warg, Spitebacker, and Kruglug, Murderer. Oh great, I'm going to get Murdered. Let's go into combat. I would like a night battle. A night battle would be great. Now, we're going to talk about three character backstories. Or not character backstories, but unit backstories. Because we don't really have any new characters yet. It does take time to produce enough heroes. Usually heroes and lords you can have names later on. But in the very beginning, it's a lot easier to name an individual unit and give them a backstory. We did rename the capital of Mazdamundi to El Cadavo's Triumph. As indeed, that is his own victory. It's a lot of trees. I'm not a fan. I'll have to use my artillery to lure them to me. It's going to be nasty. We're going to use our right flank to hit them. Hopefully. If not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Probably die. Yeah. Guess I'll die. Okay, we're right over here. I'm going to bring you up a little bit more. Let's bring up my Dawnbreakers over here. Spearmen, you're going to be on the front lines. Snake bites are what you're called right now. Dawnbreakers will be right behind you. Swordsmen, I want you fellas to be on the left and right flanks. Yeah. I think that'll work out. All of my crossbows will be right behind. Pistoliers, you'll move out on the left flank. El Cadavo, you'll be in the middle. And that will be my formation for right now. Everyone goes into guard mode. Look at that long formation. Oh no. We need to fast forward just a wee bit. Not my favorite battle map, admittedly. Where am I going to move to? Either way, I'll have to move somewhere to where I'm able to use my cannon upon them. If I can use my cannon upon them, then we can lure them to us. Over here might be it. Pistoliers, come on, let's go. You'll go into a skirmishing mode. El Cadavo, get ready. You've got a weapon potion. Not a weapon potion, but a potion of strength. And everyone's getting into position now. I'll probably tweak my graphics later to where it's a little bit more impressive, but here's what we have right now. It takes a little bit of work. I use a few visual effects. You price it in a few other campaigns. But I'll do it again in the future. Alright. Lorenz's Levelers. They're going to keep on moving from me, aren't they? I can beat them with my crossbows, but it's a matter on whether or not my infantry can hold out. 29 weapon strength. Okay, not nearly as bad as you used to be. I think so. Or I might be thinking of another modification where they were really bad to fight. Oh my god, were they ever. It was not a gentle affair at all. Let's move up again. They're just making me dance. Come on now. I'm trying to get into range. And they're like, nah, we don't want you to do that. Okay. Let's get ready now. Hopefully, we can have that battle begin in just a little while. I'll try to hit whatever I can of their infantry. Had I known the battle was going to be like this, I wouldn't have fought it. <laughs> but it's going to take a minute to get into position, I think. Come over here now. Because we're going to have to. I don't really have much of a choice. Because they keep... Oh my god. I've never had the enemy do this. And look at that line, too. How many are we fighting? We're fighting nearly 3,000. Nearly 3,000 orcs right now. And they just keep shifting on me. What's over here? You know what? I'm going to go shoot at least one of you. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm tired of moving. I'm going to have my pistoliers go up and shoot a few of you. Because I'm getting pretty angry about what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Don't even care. I'm just going to move over here. We need to watch out for their archers, though. Just shoot at least one of them. There we go. Move back before their archers can hit me. Now they're all moving together. Okay. We only got a handful of kills. I wonder if the trees are in the way or something. Maybe. Oh, here they come now. I think. I thought they were coming. That's a lot of orc. Go hit a few more of them. Oh, no, no. Here comes a few arrows my way. Get out the way. Don't die on me. 
Okay, so our goal right now is to try to defend our flanks as much as we can. Ratman, you'll move over here. Artillery, you'll hit whatever you can. Just really, whatever you can. Just hit it. Swordsman, you'll move over here. We're going to reinforce with what we're able to reinforce with. I have no idea what it's going to be like or what it's going to look like yet. Here comes a lot of them. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. I'm going to move up a few of my units real quick. Just a little bit like that, okay? We're going to move up my crossbows to go hit, when I look at it, their own savage orc boys before they can obliterate me. I'm sure we can hit more of their infantry, that's true, but let's try to go hit a few more of them over here. Pistoliers, I just want you to keep on moving away. Thank you so much. Dawnbreakers, you'll move over here onto my right flank. Artillery, I know that you're attacking and hopefully getting some nice kills through their ranks. Yeah, we're blowing a few savage orcs apart right now. Alright, a cadaver. Go into combat. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to try to have a victory today. I'm over here. So far, my crossbows are killing a lot of their arrow boys. Very, very good. Pistoliers are trying to do their best right now. Go attack over here real quick. Again, back into slow motion because if you look at it right now, it's actually a pretty good shot here. You can just see. And we're trying to hold on. I'm trying to kill as many of those blasted archers of theirs as I can, but they're coming to flank me on my left flank. I've got the rat men who will try to fight together and hopefully get a few kills in. We're going to use my crossbow still to keep on going after more of these savage orcs. Let's see, we'll go over here and over here. I'll have two of them attack over here on my right flank to try to alleviate, or alleviate a few of their issues. My pistolets will move over here and continue to attack as well. They've got 55 kills right now. El Cadavo, we're looking at 15 kills. He's going to go after the leader. I'm going to use his potion right now. He's going to be a little bit stronger. And then we can see him take on their leader, their savage war chief. I am the war chief. Not today, buddy. Come on, just go hit him. Don't just shout at him. <laughs> go hit him in the head. 15 kills right now. I've got some spearmen that I forgot about, kind of. I'm going to move up my swordsman just a wee bit. My dawnbreaker's just a wee bit. I'm going to have my... Artillery attack right over here. I think we're gonna try to not hit my guys too much I'm sure it might happen anyway, but ooh That looks pretty good. That was a pretty nice shot. I think We need to hit more of them though. We're not done. Hold on. Hold on I guess we could let that go for now. But yeah, keep on attacking if you want That's a pretty good shot or a pretty good location to shoot from all right, I'm gonna get out of slow motion real quick. Hopefully we'll be all right. 14 kills right now. Let's move over here to their flank. A few of my crossbows are being hit. Let's go hit a few more of their infantry units with my own crossbows. Thank you so much. Come over here and attack. Go into skirmish mode again. Oh, even their air boys are beginning to launch out to attack me. Hold on, how many kills are they getting? Only a handful, not a lot of kills right now. Well, that's good. We've already taken out one group, that's very good too. We don't have our senior ground yet. We're still being attacked by so many of them. Let's push up a little bit. Come on, breakers, move up, move up, move up. I need all of you to move in. Because we could use some help right now. What about my artillery? How are they doing? They've gotten how many kills now? 32 kills, and we're still shooting at more of them who are still out there. Okay, I'm going to get these crossbows now to go after more of these savage orcs who are attacking me. Pistol are at 136 for kills. With all of my attacking, with all of my holding of ground, we were able to hopefully pull through it today. All right, I'm going to move you two over here. I'm going to have my swordsmen come over here to my left flank because we probably need some help. And my rat men are still attacking. Keep on trying to attack right now. I'm going to have Lions of Conquest attack over here to go kill some of these savage orcs who are currently firing at my four units. And after that, we'll just go after more of these units of theirs. Keep on attacking. Keep on attacking. Just go hit what you can. Buff up everyone. We took out their leader so far. That's a very, very good change of events. We're able to take out leaders, it looks like. I'm bringing my swordsmen to go reinforce over here, too. The ratmen will charge in just a little while if they need to. They've got 56 kills right now, so they're already doing a lot of damage to these savage orcs. It's probably better if they just kind of keep on fighting the battle as they are right now. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's see. Pistoliers, you're still here. Why don't you attack some savage orcs? They've gotten enough kills, and they're very annoying. Go attack this group. Go attack this group over here. And artillery, you can go after them, too. Or even attack of, well, no, go after the orcs over there. I think that'll work out fine. Go after these savage orcs. There's a few of them still running. Hopefully they'll keep on running. We need them all to stay 
away from me. I'm debuffing everyone. I've got Spearman over here on my right flank. We're going to bring him over to my left flank. I'm going to have my Ratman stay here for now, and they're going to keep on shooting too. It's a great way for them to exist right now. Look at that. I've got 41 melee attack, 47 melee defense, and that's really why we're able to do well right now is because my guys are pretty darn buffed up. So they're just pretty strong. Okay. With all my crossbows and pistoliers, we're finally getting rid of their leaders and their units and everything nearby. Let's go after their leader, actually. I want to say get rid of their leaders. I just meant that we're about to get rid of their leader. Come over here to attack. Ooh, look at these guys. They're coming at me. Got their leader. He's dead. Now we can attack over here. Let's go after that savage orc group. My pistol leaders are still out here just hunting down everyone. It's a great thing to see. I love seeing it happen. We got more biggins on the way. El Kadav is still fighting. A lot of their orcs are now fleeing. The battle's now over. You can see them flee before our numbers right now. We held on. These are some tough men. They came to make some money. They're making some money. Pistoliers did a great job. Nearly 300 kills. Conde's writers. El Kadav with 81 kills. Ratman is still shooting. 115 for kills. Crossbows, of course, did an extraordinary job. They always do. Okay. Heroic victory. We won. I didn't know how well that would go. We have another army to fight, but that went really, really well. Holy crap. If we can get one turn to replenish, we'll be all right. If we don't, then I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But El Cadavo was able to win again. For he is El Cadavo. <laughs> Why did he win? For he is El Cadavo. My entire army is turning into some veteran force. A very frightening one. They've been fighting together for a little while now, and we've already beaten so many enemies. 1,995 gold gained. I could liberate a bunch of lizards. No, thank you. I'm just going to occupy. Ooh, a weaving house. How nice of you. Yeah, I'm not going to tax you yet. Grack Beast Basha. Oh, boy. He's got Savage Orc Boar Boys. Fun. Okay, at level 14. What am I going to pick up for you? That's faction wide if I get that. That would be for adventurers, which I do not have. Shield bearers, I do not have those. Swashbucklers, uh huh. <laughs> I'm going to give you, I think, right now, a bit of that and a bit of this over here. A bit more of that melee attack. Let you fight in combat. I could give you more health as well, but there you go. You need to try to make you a little bit mightier in combat, I think. As for you, you'll be ready in a few turns. Clearly not yet. Alright, if I'm building a smithy, what else do I want? Probably a location for my stables. Yeah, we want a livery later. I'm getting a tier 3 building over here. One more turn. Okay. Let's see here. First unit, Blue Terrors. The Terrors were originally an elite volunteer-only group of Nordland Marines who made deep strikes into the wastelands of Norska. The men who had usually lost everything in Norska raids, be it loved ones or property, the Terrors had a mean streak among the men of the Nordland armies as arrogant, and their belief that the Marines were the best in the forces of Theodric Gosser. Can I help you? Would you like to trade as well? Oh, we can't trade? Well, sure, I'll take that. No? Let's see, as they were often deployed as shock troops and vanguard elites to soften the targets, well, let's see, for the main invading forces, the only problem was that the terrorists didn't leave anyone for the main force, earning their names from the color of their uniforms while they served in Nordland. After Theodoric had conquered Norska in a joint operation with Elspeth, Von Draken, and Mars Lightdorf, the terrorists had run out of victims. The mere mention of their name instilled terror in the local populace who complied with the imperial government. After the province who had, uh, let's see, had been secured, the marines moved on into Talea after their discharge selling their cutlasses to the highest bidder. They had been informed by a recruiter that a man named El Cadavo was starting an expedition into the New World. They signed on knowing that Cadavo would need men to make his enemies fear him and to help secure the land in his name. Rumor has it that the Norskans actually believed that the terrors were sent by Korn to punish them for some transgression against the Blood God, and even though they are thousands of miles away, the men of the North shudder at the sound of the Blue Terrors. The men had created their own motto in the service of the Northern Marines, often shouting, 
Always faithful, always forward. While assaulting the unlucky opponents who had to face their charges while under hails of bullets from pistols and cutlass slashes. Okay. I'll work with that. I would like to think to maintain their numbers. Most of them are not killed, but maybe injured. I don't know. Maybe. I can't... Wait, can I get a... I believe I can, actually. Okay, I can get a captain now. Only level one, unfortunately, but... Okay, that's a bit more speed for him. Strider as well. I'm going to go and take that, I think. I like it. There we go. I'm going to use him on a campaign map for a little while, though. We want him to come down here. Well, which one would be faster? One, two, three. One, two... Ooh, okay. It's about the same. We'll need a good name and backstory for him. I believe I've got a few. I'll have to go find one for our following episode. Okay, we've got great sword infantry as well if we want to bring them in. We've got, let's see here. And yes, I do know they have charge defense against all. I'm just saying, though, that I was looking at their other stats, too. Thank you. All right. What do I want now? I've got all these swordsmen. I've got halberds. I've got a paymaster bodyguard. I mean, those are really my spears right now. I, I can grab a pikeman company for fun. I can grab two groups of greatsword infantry, or all of them. No, I'm going to grab two. That'll give me some elites again. I'm going to make sure that we have a lot of elite infantry in this army. We clearly need some range units, so I'm going to grab some crossbows too. It's going to take me forever to fully develop his army. Okay, who else can build up right now? Let's have a look. Nope, we'll keep what you have. You're fine. You're fine. You'll be taxed later. Oh, they left. Okay. That's interesting. And you leveled up again. Okay, Tell of Kadavo 4. Between legend and myth, my upkeep will go down by 30%. And let's see, causes fear. I suppose only for him. Only a few of the defeated are killed, for Kadavo marks them as troublemakers, and there aren't many other ways to get rid of them, so far away from provisions and what passes as civilization. And yet, these survivors' hearts are high, because even if, if the day was bloody and wet, the pay is going to be excellent. The future looks bright, for they are the best troops ever assembled in the colonies under a legendary, uh, let's see, Condotti Condottiero, that has just defeated an upstart rival, and that now only intends to restock and start what promises to be a fruitful adventure in a ripe land. That was a new word for me. There we go. And I'll give you more Blade Master skill. Here we go again. 71 melee attack. He's going to be able to hit like everyone. Jeez, man. All right. Let's have a look right now. You've got that going on. No poison or sundering for you to worry about. His army's doing so very well. And now I have a lot more money to make each and every turn, which will allow me to have another army out there. I've been waiting for that. Yeah, you'll be down there one day. Currently recruiting now. Let's have a look. One regiment of fame. Those aren't the ones I even really want right now. I'll hire them later. Let's end our turn. Another unit. Let's see. Condes Reiter is hailing from central Bretonia. Henry of Conde was the fourth son of a small Bretonian lord who, let's see, was still respected and or who still respected the ancient traditions of secession from before the time of Jill. When coming of age, he would receive, like his three brothers, an equal share of the land surrounding the family keep instead of going on a quest and letting his eldest brother inherit all. However, in this particular case, hundreds of years of dividing equally the lands that led him to own a small plot of land, feeling humiliated by this, he decided to leave the familial lands, selling his plot to an opportunistic and naive Tilian merchant, who would later be killed by the angry family for the offense of buying the land from a noble without the unanimous permission of his 25 siblings, cousins, and so on. With his small sum of money, he would spend the next five years honing his martial skills and tournaments to a respectable level, feeling that he was losing his time in Bretonia. He left the country and ended up in Talea, where he linked with the many similar young knights who had sold their services to other lords. Over time, their small band would grow in size and get accustomed to the use of pistols and more complex weaponry than the traditional cav, lance, and sword. They forged an honorable reputation by mercenary standards in the fightings between the warring city-states and would probably have stayed there for quite some time had they not been tempted by the promise of riches during the bloody conflicts between Ramas and Lucini. Fighting on the side of Ramas, they helped lay siege to Lucini and participated in an assault on its port. While waiting as reserves behind the lines, the writers saw another army coming from the east. The dastardly Varezzo had raised an army afraid of the multiple successes of Ramas. Even worse, the army was too numerous and fresh for the brave knights to turn the tide of the battle. 
honorable but not stupid they sent a messenger to the soldiers still in the city telling them that they were holding the enemies back as they were trapped inside the city and couldn't see anything outside it wouldn't hurt their reputation they promptly retreated from the battlefield and inside the city let's see or let's see inside the city and we'll look at more of that later now that we have a new turn yeah the spacing isn't really there should be more spacing in these stories so if you ever submit one make sure that you space out your paragraphs just a little bit because i actually lost my place <laughs> I'll look for it in a, in a minute though. Okay, so we have more technology completed. More money for me now. And my pirates would be very good. Look at that, more trade, more growth. A lot of stuff going on. Okay, after that, what am I gonna pick up? Over here for more tradable goods. More armor. More campaign movement range. I like that a lot. That I do. Yeah, I think I'll take that for now. This can populate would be fantastic. I have what I want. Okay, so all of you will be ready when we turn. What else do I want, though? I've got some pikes. I could use... Do we have more shields? I don't really have a lot of shields in my army currently. Well, swordsmen, I have those, right? I'll take two lancers, too. I might have a bit of room for a captain in the future, but not right now. I wonder if I could ambush any of you. Let's see. 80% chance. I mean, that's alright. Could be better. Alright, I've got some money out here. What am I going to spend it on? It really depends. I could build that up and get 300 more gold. I like that idea. But for now, let's go get my stables done. And I get to end my turn again. Yes, my lord. Yeah, Captain Daniel's still working on his army. Blue Vipers will retaliate promptly. I'm sure they'll come after me, or even Swamp Town. We'll see which way they go. I've encountered a new faction, the Wrath of Nature. I don't know if they've spawned in or what they're doing, really. Oh, well. Let's see. They promptly retreated from the battlefield. Let's see. Still, unexpectedly, some units of the Bretian army were dispatched towards them and started a short pursuit, which ended up with a counterattack from another Bretonian gang, allowing them to escape, since nobody would check too long on dead Bretonians in Talea. The let's see here. The reputation of the fling uh, company was secured, albeit unintentionally. The situation was getting really hot, however, and the writers embarked in the nearest port, south of the Bay of Ramas, in haste. Henry had heard of tales from the other side of the sea of great treasures, and a party of men tried to settle there. Seeing the difficulty of transporting the horses on such great distances, no doubt they would need some cav there. Okay. One more unit now. Let's see. We got the Snake Bite Company, which is spaced out. This regiment formed itself in Swamp Town from various mercenaries that answered a notice asking for daring men that knew how to fight and survive in the jungles, promising a fantastic but still reasonable reward. The employer turned out to be a scholar that dragged them deep into the canopies and revealed his intention to expand the wealth of all humanity and gain glory and renown by recording all species of snakes in Lustria. Suffice to say, the men were at first skeptical, but between the two ogres that were insanely loyal to the surprisingly durable scholar and the things lurking outside of their camps, none were stupid enough to flee back to the coast. And so they trained, marched, and suffered together. And as the scholar collected molts and eggshells, the men collected bites. They learned how to trade with skinks, forage in the thick undergrowth, and yank their hand away before the snake attack. When they returned to Swamp Town, the scholar had a fat tome with 60,000 species, and all of the men had a tattoo of, made of snake bites. Now they ask for a more reasonable employer, either El Cadavo or Marius Leitdorf. But in our case, El Cadavo. Alright. It's a really good backstory too, by the way, so good job on that. And I like how you gave me a choice of which campaign. Alright, the captain will be ready pretty darn soon. We'll move him over to Swamp Town. Just to have him a little bit closer, we'll move you over here too. I might let him go take the Monument of the Moon then. Okay, can I recruit from here? I can. What do I want today? Handgunners would be great, but I don't have a gunsmith yet. I would love to have handgunners, but can't get them yet. Okay, I'm going to take what then? I've got a lot of infantry, I think. A couple of pirates, sure. Then I want... Shields. And one more now. We shall take more pikemen. I don't like having mixed groups of units, but that's what we have right now. Well, I could grab more halberdiers, I suppose. Yeah, we might as well do that. Oh. 
<laughs> I clicked on a swordsman. My bad. All right, that'll be my full army. Now I get to spend all my money on making more money right now. Yeah, sure, build that up. And over here, why don't you work on a more public order up? We could use happier people. Now we can end our turn again. We've gone over every backstory that we have right now. Got a few unhappy locations under my control. That will hopefully change in time. I'll probably have El Kadava go after the High Sentinel. I'll let the Captain go after the Monument of the Moon, or I could have the Captain come down to Pahawks, which we shall rename. I'll probably rename any very distinctly Lizard Man location. That way it's a bit easier to pronounce. I don't want to have issues with all of that right now. So let's see here. After that, I've got to go after some Skaven, I believe. That should be an interesting fight. It's crazy how effective my crosswomen are. I feel like they're more effective than they ever have been, but then again, it's probably just the foes I'm fighting. I'm not fighting like Imperials or Dwarves or whatever. I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. They keep on dancing back and forth. Let them do what they want. I'm probably waiting too long, but I just wanted to get the captain out here. He should be ready on our following turn, I hope. Then we can let him travel quickly to go the fight a battle or two. Yeah, they want a peace treaty, but they're not trying to pay me. And other factions are fighting them too, who will like me more by me fighting them as well. So I'm not going to give that up. El Cadavo. There's a lot of units all over. A lot of rogue armies. Yeah, our goal is to go after Lustria to try to take it all over. That's my big goal. To take over all of Lustria. It's a grand goal, I think. Okay, I feel like I would... Ooh, I don't want to cross through that, though. Well, why don't you come over here, then? Why don't you come on down? Still trying to get all of you down here to help me out. But if I move away, you'll be able to hit my town, and I don't want you to hit my town while I'm gone. That's why I've been waiting. And build that up if you want. It's a bit more expensive. So be it. And over here to Ziggurat of Dawn. Oh, hold on. Right, right. Local armies would gain 200 experience per turn. If I left the captain there, it would have taken very long to get a fully veteran army. Holy crap. Well, I don't need to build it yet. Lithanar, you better win, man. I hope you win. I don't want to have to worry about you. We've got a touch more corruption around here. I could get them more public order. Let's try that out real quick. I'm going to take some more money. And now we get to end our turn again. The captain's getting really close. I need to give him route marcher whenever he levels up if I didn't give him that already. Yeah, it took me a long time to travel through here. That was really a pain. I should probably get that mod where you can... I would love to build to build roads. Like better roads in every province that way we could just move a little bit faster in our own lands i think that's just a logical thing to have i wonder if they're gonna swap out again but now i've got full two full stacks and i still have enough money to spend yitin why are you fighting elithanar why would you do that oh dear that isn't what we want that isn't what i want i know it's not what i want i want them to unite I mean, if they're fighting, they're not going to be helping me. If they're not helping me, I'm not very happy about that. Okay, maybe I could get our new guy to go after you. He doesn't have artillery, but he's got a crossbow. He's not a lot of crossbows, though. He's got pirates. I don't know if that's going to help. Normally, I would only get four crossbows and not two pirates, but I wanted to have a bit of variety for all of you. So I shall see. They've got one army and a half. Monument of the Moon is what I want to go after later. Hell, I could go after that now. They're kind of trapped here. If they move away with like their big army, I can go in. There's like a few things I'll be able to do, I think. Let's have a look. Building Pyramid. Yes, my lord. Well, first off, is I'm going to have time? you come on down. Right out. 
Come on. Wow. A critical failure already. <laughs> That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Come over here. You don't have much of a garrison. I can see that now. My other garrisons are looking pretty good. They need to all upgrade though later. All right, so I know you're not very happy, but I could use a tier three gold mine. Oh, wow, yeah. I think we'll take that. Let's go up. Occupied city. New tier. To the provinces. Let's end a turn again because we're trying to get to a new turn to where we're able to go after our lovely, lovely enemies that I would like to destroy somehow, some way. Just to have a nice victory today. That's all I want right now is just to be able to take him out to say, hey, look at that. We can defeat the orcs and then we can go after a new enemy later. I'm probably taking way too long. I hate that I'm taking too long because my enemies will be able to empower themselves by getting new tiers of units. Fighting at the low tiers is so much fun for me whenever I'm playing as El Cadavo because it's so easy for me to tear down their lower tier units. If I have to wait for their heavily armored stuff, I'm not going to be nearly as potent in combat. I'll have to like rearm my forces and that just takes time. It's all about the time it takes. I just wish I could like swap them out or something without having to just wait here and sit here to recruit for like five turns. I mean, I get it, but it's why I don't always go out and do that. I try to get through as quickly as I can to just keep on conquering more land. But I do control quite a few locations right now, so I guess it's really not too bad. I fought such a major enemy early on, one that was meant to beat me, but I'm very happy to say that uh, I'm winning. I didn't know that I would win. I didn't think that I could win. I mean, that garrison was really scary, but I broke it down systematically. That's really what I've been doing. Each and every time. Just taking my time, shooting them, destroying what I'm able to. I'm usually not that careful, but in those cases when you have to be careful, I, yeah, well, as I just said, I had to be careful. There wasn't really much of a choice there other than me just trying to watch out. Okay, so we're going to get him to come over here. Easy enough. We just want him to train up by taking it. All right, it's got a lot of kills, but it's like the most casualties. I will not liberate you, but I will occupy. I now own two locations here. We're going to upgrade that right away. How's every location doing? They're pretty happy. They're all pretty happy right now, it looks like. What about you? Yeah, make me more money. It's only 1500 and you'll be making me a decent amount more. Okay. Ready. Now. now I'm going to... Oh, you have route marcher. Good. Okay. I was wondering if you did or not. Give you draft master. I can give you that for more replenishment. I do want to give you more replenishment. I think it's a very good thing to pick up. I think I'm gonna give you take that fervent draft master. It won't work out yet, but one day it'll all be good for you. All right. Yes, my lord. I want to go after the floating pyramid. How much of a garrison are we looking at? A little bit more. I don't know what the battlefield will look like, though. How long will it take you to get out here, man? Oh, God. It'll take me another, like, two turns, three turns. That's where I want him to go. It's right over here. Just feels like it's taking forever to move around. I'm at turn 35. I'm just going to go in. I'm tired of waiting. I can't do it anymore. If I need to rebuild it later, I'll just rebuild it. I am very impatient. Okay, plus five to leadership. We'll give it to the Redman. Let's go check out what the terrain's gonna look like. Let's find out. Oh, okay. That should be a fairly interesting battle. At least I think it will be. Will it be challenging? Maybe. It might be challenging. Then again, if they don't have like walls, I'll be able to use my artillery and my crossbows to hit them at least a little bit. So that should be pretty good, me doing that, I mean. 
I'll be able to whittle them down again. And I love, you know how much I love doing that. It's a great feeling to just be able to tear down your foes piece by piece. Okay. Another cool looking map. I guess I'll, oh my God, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. I'm glad they added that in. That's terrifying. I don't, I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. <laughs> it's not fully buried. Get rid of it. It's bigger than a bone giant. All right, so we're going to move you guys up. Let's just get ready. And as we do, we keep it a very nice formation. For what it is, anyway. Over here. And I think we're good now, yeah. So, all my infantry, group up. Guard mode, all of you, guard mode, guard mode, and guard mode. We're now ready. Artillery, if you want to go hit their leader, go be a jerk. Or really, just go hit what you want. It doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. Move over here. Crossbows, I want you to move up. How's your range in comparison to a bunch of savage orcs? You're at 160. They're at how many? 130. Okay, so you got a little bit more of a range. What if I get you to go shoot any? Oh, you do have savage orc war boys. Okay, well, I'm not going to move out then. Artillery, you're not in range still. Let's move up even more. And yeah, my range is just not that impressive, is it? Not really, no. We'll just move up further. Let's move up over here. Five kills in the initial salvos from my battery. I'm going to take out their leader, I think, right over here. Go through their leader for fun. I don't know if they're going to charge out towards me. It looks like they are. Oh, if they are, how neat. Didn't think they would. Well, if you attack over here, got to watch out for the riders. I don't know how they're going to handle this battle just yet. They're hitting their leader a lot. He's going to have a pretty bad day, it looks like. I've already taken out their air boys. At least a few of them. Get him again. They are gone. They are very... Oh my god. Just look at that. We destroyed them all. Let's go through this next group. I think we have more charging in. So they're actually charging in. I didn't think that they would. But they are. I'm going to try to beat up their leader. Come over here. And over here. Swordsman, you get to wait a little bit. Ratman, I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. We got some nasty enemies coming my way though. Some uh, boar boys. I want to deal with that as well. Let's see. I'll try to hit more of them. Let's move all of my crossbows back now. Moving some spearmen to reinforce up here. Ratman, I'll move you up a little bit. Swordsman, you'll move up over here too. El Cadavo, you'll stay on the front lines right now. And those are my orders. We are Just get the hell out of there for now. now. I'll have you get to their leader in a little while. We'll get for more of them in a little while too. They're trying to surround me and it's working. I am surrounded by a lot of orc right now. Yeah, buff up everyone. He's already killed how many? Three. Use your potion. Okay. Once my crossbows are in position, I'm going to be ready to really beat him up, I think. Come over here real quick. I'm already losing a lot on my right flank. Oh, God. Yeah, they're all alone right there. Hold on. Let's go bring in some more units to go reinforce at that location. I'm going to keep on guarding that area. Very good. Ratman, you'll keep on attacking whatever you're able to. El Cadavo is beating the hell out of their leader. If you can look at that. He's already beaten. Oh, yeah. Wait, what What do you have? Oh, your poison doesn't work on me. Right. Haha. <laughs> no poison for you today, my friend. All right, let's go after this group. This group. You'll kill this one, too. And you'll go after this one, too. Keep on killing all their archers. I want all these archers dead. Let's go get their boar boys. Bring in some swordsmen over here. Go help them out. Ratman, I'm going to let you come in too in just a little while. I'm going to have you attack or shoot someone. Come over to the left flank instead then. Oh right, yeah. You guys haven't really killed anyone. Let's move over here. You'll help out a little bit more. Alright. Artillery, I'm going to move you back just a little bit. Go push in a little bit, swordsmen. We haven't quite killed your leader off yet. I need to get more of my guys to go fight. Hold on, let's see. We took out that group, very good. Come over here to attack. We got some more archers to worry about. 
This leaves will move back now. Let's go back. These war boys, oh man, they charged and got five kills. I got seven kills, but they're still getting a lot of kills. That isn't great. Beat your leader so you can move back. My spearmen are holding out everywhere right now. El Cadavo one, let's bring him back too. Move up a little bit, guys. Ratman, you'll come attack whatever you can. Missileers come over here, right behind them all. There not be any more archers coming in. I don't believe so. Come over here then. Come over here. I want a lot of you to go after these blasted. Yeah, just go kill them right now. Go charge in and kill these savage orc boar boys. You'll go after these archers now because I'm sure they're getting a lot of hits in. We've killed this group of archers. Very good. Ratman, go in and fight. They did a lot to me. Come over here and shoot, pistoliers. Oh god. This has been a tough one. Keep on fighting. Go charge in a little bit. Go press in. If you're not pressing in, we're gonna die horribly, so hurry up. Okay. Let's go kill their leader now. Just to cause a few issues. You two are still good to go. Go after them. Yeah, we'll go kill their leader real quick. Come over here and fight. Get some more savage orcs coming in from behind. Already taking out their boar boys. Very good. Let's go look again. I'm a little bit too spread out, it looks like. Yeah, I'm way too spread out. I'm not happy about that, but uh, let's keep on moving. Let's see. Artillery, you can't really... Well, you can move in, I think, now. Let's go try to get you in. Can I get you? Yeah. Just get on your gun to go attack. El Cadavo, we're at 30 kills now. So it's still not like a ton of kills. He's getting like enough kills to help out, just not a ton of kills. The poor rat men, they're at 32 kills. We're still shooting a bunch of these orc biggins. Oh, they're biggins to wonder. All of you are at 23 kills. Just gonna form up. Like right over here, and I think you'll get a decent amount of kills, hopefully. Yeah, my guys are way too spread out right now. I don't have all of my Okay, hold on, let's see. I'm gonna get you guys to attack over here. What are we looking at over here? 19, 20 kills. Yeah, go kill them over here. I'll let you two go after this group. We'll take out all of your arrow boys. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe that'll help us out enough. I don't know. We'll see. Ratman, come over here. Keep on attacking from behind. That's a lot of orcs, man. Oh, I guess we haven't really looked at it in cinematic view, so let's go check it out real quick. Here's what we're looking at right now. You can see so many of my guys just holding strong. We were using a lot of men to hold this line. There's El Cadavo. We've got some archers still attacking. I've got all my crossbows. You're doing such a great job at responding to all of their ranged attacks. I just have to hold right now. Try to hold, I mean. Pistoliers are always just a great unit to have. Keep on attacking everyone. Keep on attacking everyone. Snake bites come over here and help out. El Cadavo, come over here if you want to. Once they all break, the battle is won. We don't have to worry about anything else anymore. Crossbows are still attacking. They've got so much ammunition. Swordsman did well, too. I mean, again, 48 melee defense is kind of hard to take down, I think. Yeah, reinforce a little bit. Have a smaller formation because of it. Yeah, go in. You're at 126, but you can go in and chase a few of these orcs. Alright, very good. I'm gonna get all of these crossbows to go after that group. They've got 13 kills. I'll probably get a few more. Let's form up over here again. Spears, you too. Oh, they were coming at me. No, they're not. 19 kills now. El Cadavo's at 48 kills. The last real wing of their resistance is here. And you can see that we have another victory notched on our belt. Another location taken. Close victory for me. I lost 548. That's a lot. Can I replenish a lot? I sure can. I would like to think that now we're getting like this like steady stream of warriors from Taldea. People are like, yeah, riches. They're actually becoming veterans at a pretty decent speed. I'm a fan of that.
Thrak Beast Basha. You did a good job, buddy. You tried hard. Didn't get one kill. He fought El Kodavo, then got killed. It's another leader of theirs taken down. I'm gonna take over this location to replenish, and then we can move on to a different area. Occupy. I can now get the Knights of Origo. I've got Glitter and Skulls if I want to use that. And a Scribe. I think I already have one in his army. Let's see, what am I going to give you now? I've given you so much. Hard to hit. Oh yeah, I've been trying to get this over here too. I want him to get all of that, then I'll get Duplicari Eye. Well, why don't we get that now? Let's... Five skill points. Never mind. Nah. Get it later. Get it later, man. We'll get Windmaker later too, but for now, hard to hit. We want him to be tank here. I want him to be tank here. I will marshal the men to the provinces. Okay. The nation calls. You're all patching up. That's a floating pyramid. I don't really need any of that in business, but I'll take it for now. What else can I build around? That might be easier to defend. Not really anything. Okay, we'll go build that up. Where will the rebellion happen though? It's gonna happen somewhere. Hmm. Well, no, I should have the capital by then. We only have one location to take, the High Sentinel. They'll have walls there. And then after that, we can get ready to go fight a bunch of Skaven right down here. We've got some other armies to fight too, like rogue armies that are all over the map. They're going to add a bit of a difference to it all. Alright, thank you for watching. Leave a like down below. Look forward to more stuff later. And as always, until then, 